Hi, Robert here. Today I'm going to take and uh, show you how to build a vacuum bed where you can uh, build your own vacuum beds and give you some ideas and hopefully it'll help some of you. Some of the items you're going to need, you're going to need some plastic pipe, you'll need some elbows, two couplings, and a T. So this is uh, basically what you're going to need to start with. Uh, I'll start by prepping these these parts here. I have done this one already. Let me zoom in here a little more. See if we can see if you can see what I'm talking about. There's lettering along here. There's mold castings. I don't like leaving them. They become uh, places where your latex will rub on and, and break. Some of them have sharp points and corners on them. These here, these are from the castings. So you need to try and get rid of those. And the best way to do that is to either file them off or sand them. So you've got your got a file here that we can take and uh, just file them off or like I said you can sand them if you have a power sander you can sand them all off See, that's got rid of that big, big hump that was on it. So, yeah, these, some of them have sharp points on, and when they're inside your latex, you can have a problem. So, I'll take and uh, do this off camera and get it done, and we'll get back, back to you soon. Okay, we're back. I got all these cleaned up. Uh, this is inch and a quarter tubing. Schedule 40, which is the heavy wall. And uh, like I said, I got all these cleaned up now where they're, they're smooth and not, no sharp corners on them. And if you, if you get any of these elbows and they got sharp corners or sharp spots on them, Make sure you clean them up. Because after you spend the time building a vacuum bed, you don't want to poke a hole in it with this. Okay, so I've got all those pieces cleaned up and prepped. Uh, let me get the latex out. You'll need to see what you need on latex. How much you need. Let me get this unrolled and I'll get back to you. Okay, the first latex I got, I didn't have enough, so... <clears throat> we'll use this, uh... This is a violet. Need to measure the width of it. He wants what we got on width on it. <clears throat> That'll determine how wide our bed will be. If I got 37 inches. We're going to make it two tone, so let's measure the other one, see if it's 37 inches also.
Yeah, it's 37 inches also, so this will determine how wide we make our bed. Get this rolled up and out of the way here so we can figure out our pipe and see what's what we need. So that's the latex. We'll use the violet on the bottom and the, the natural on the top. Okay, I figured out I need... I make these small enough where they'll break down where they're not more than not more than 36 inches. Uh, so they're easy to take apart, put away, and store. Or take somewhere if you'd like. So the top and bottom needs to be 33 inches. And the four pieces I need for the sides is uh, 34 inches. So I got my little miter box, my saw. We'll have to measure this out. Let's see, we need 33 inches. So there's 33 inches. You have a miter saw or electric saw you want to saw this with, that's fine. That's one of them. We'll mark it 33. And we'll do another one at 33. <clears throat> You'll have to clean up the ends when you get done. Mark this one, 33. This is the last piece I gotta cut. Start by getting this inside edge. Taking all the fuzz and the fur off of it. Just enough to clean it up. And do the same to the outside edge. Some of these will get glued together. Not all of them, but uh, like I said, some of them I'll glue them together. Okay, this is the last one here. For bed this size, you need uh, two sticks of this material. I think they're 12 foot long. I don't know, I have to check. They're 10 or 12 foot long. So, you need two pieces like that. Okay, now we're going to be putting holes. Putting holes down the... down the side of it. So to make a straight line, straight line down the side, Okay, make a straight line, get something, a block or something, hold your material solid, just run a line down it. That'll give you a straight enough line to put your holes and it won't be wandering all over. Okay, that's that. Next thing you need to do is to find the center. Okay, we 
got center. The holes will be three inches apart. So you got your center. You mark three inches, three inches, three inches, three inches. Do the same on the other side from the center. So that gives you all your markings. I'll get the rest of them marked and we'll go from there. Okay, we're down to our last one here. I'm just finishing up. Next thing is we'll be drilling holes. And the holes you'll be drilling are only an eighth inch. Three inches apart. So three inches apart, eighth inch holes. Uh, and I will countersink them a little when we're done drilling. So if you got a drill press, that works a lot better than a hand drill. Uh, hand drill will work also. So we'll come back when we get uh, when I start drilling, I'll bring you along with me and, and see how I drill some of them. Okay, we're at the drill press. I got it set up with the drill and so forth, so I'll turn it on and go. Okay, that's one. That's all you need is a very small hole like that. So I'll finish them up and we'll come back. It's all the holes drilled. And that's uh, that was 72 holes I had to drill. Now they're all drilled. I'll take them, take them over to the table. I'll do a little hand countersinking on them. So we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. I'll countersink these. Do some of them just with a little countersink and just take that rough burr off. Okay, this is my last one here. Like I said, all you need to do is just give them a little twist, just enough to clean them up. Next thing I'll do is uh, Get ready and glue some of these ends together. We'll glue a connector on each one of the long ones. The other two have nothing. Two short ones. We'll get an elbow on one end. We'll get a T on the other end on that one. This one will get an elbow and an elbow. So this is what you got on your piping when it's all done. So it's easy to store, it's easy to put away, and uh, if you want to leave it longer, you could leave these, these side ones, you could leave long if you'd like. But uh, for most people, if they're going to have it and move it around, if you want to take it somewhere, they're easy to do with 36 to 38 inch length pi pieces of pipe. 